Hey there, if you've been working in your business for more than three years and you are currently not getting the results in your business that you'd hoped for or expected, then I want you to listen up. Because in this video, I want to talk to you about something that I've observed in my clients, um, and also I must admit, I've done myself, um, which has got in the way of growth in my business. So in case we haven't met before, I'm Bernadette Doyle, and for 25 years this year, I've been helping people to get more clients. And more recently, I've been helping people to get clients online. So I basically work with coaches and consultants. I help them get more clients and make money. So whether that's from the very first client right up to growing a business to a seven-figure business, I've worked with people at every stage of that journey. And I've actually grown my own business to um, seven figures and beyond. So um, what is the mistake that I see people making? And it really does come down to um, being strategic and making um, really strategic decisions about how you're going to achieve your business goals. So I want you to think about, first of all, have you set a business goal, like a revenue goal for how much money you want to make in your business over the next 12 months? That may seem like a silly question. It may seem obvious. But in my experience, it's not obvious. Like many people haven't even started with like naming that figure. So I say to my clients, you've got to name it to claim it. You need to have a really clear idea of the money you're going after. Now, I used to um, resist doing this because I didn't want to I didn't want to set myself a goal and then have to deal with the disappointment of not reaching that goal. And then I realized that I was actually um, making a big mistake and I was playing too small because I, you know, it was like I was just um, letting things go. I told myself that I was letting things grow organically, but really I was avoiding not wanting to step up. So number one is like set, set a goal. And then you need to look at, okay, you need to come up with a strategic plan. So based on your current starting point, the current assets you have in place, what is the best route for you to achieve that goal? Now, this is really important because a lot of people are selecting their plans, the things they're focusing on, based on what's most popular right now. I've literally just had a client tell me that she wanted to create a new program, a new low, low, low ticket program. And I challenged her about why she was doing that based on what I know about her goals are in her business. And she said, because I just see it look, would look really easy in Kajabi and it would be really easy to do. And we had a chat about, absolutely, it would be easy for her to do it. And it's great that it's easy for her to create content. But creating the content to sell is only one part of it. She then is still going to need to have a marketing system in place to um, sell and promote and generate sales on a consistent basis. So it's not just as simple as create the program and then you're done. You have to think about what are the other things that you're going to need to go, go for in place. Here's why this is important. Our, our, our human brains are wired to... Um, go towards pleasure, avoid pain, and do it as, as efficiently as possible. So this is why we get attracted to bright, shiny objects, because we get the, like, the dopamine fix of like, ooh, it's new and it's different. And in her in a case, had she then, she could quickly create something. So she'd have that beautiful feeling of like completion, and yeah, I created something new. But she still has to, it's still not going to impact her business goals, it's not going to generate revenue into her business until she knows how to sell it. And after we had this conversation, I've just come off the coaching call and it occurred to me how many other people are choosing the projects that they're focused on in their business in a similar way. They're going for what looks easy, what looks like it's a natural next step, but it's not necessarily the best next step when you look at your overall goals. So, if you have been in business for any amount of time and you're not satisfied with the results that you've been achieving, here are the things that you need to do based on what I'm sharing with you here. One, get really clear on what your goal is. How much money do you want to make over the next 12 months? Two, look at what are, um, of the things that you've currently got in place, what is the best way for you to achieve that goal? I can make this very simple for you. <laughs> if you want to increase your income, it really boils down to one of three things. You either increase the, the conversion of what you're selling, you increase the number of people that you, you can sell to, 
<coughs> or you increase the price point, or you can do a combination of all three. And typically for my clients, we do all three. And that's the reason that my clients will double or triple or, you know, quadruple their business in 12 months or less with working with me. That happens over and over. But it happens because we don't, we've developed discipline and we don't go chasing after bright, shiny objects or pursuing opportunities just because they come past us. We're very clear on what we're doing. And it's like, is this going to grow the list? Is it going to increase conversion? Is it going to um, increase the value of every transaction? Or is it a combination of all three? We plan our businesses that way. And that's how we get to be very deliberate and very strategic. And we, we get to set goals knowing that we're going to achieve those goals. So I hope this has helped. Um, would love to hear your comments on, you know, if you can relate to what I've shared, perhaps you have been working at things and you keep doing the, what I call the grasshopper, jumping from one project to another and you're frustrated because you're not getting the results you want. If so, I'd love to talk to you about how I can help. So however that happens, I hope we'll be connecting again very soon and do leave your thoughts below. Take care.